What if Deku was the son of Hawks and Murkrow? Part 4. Before I do get into this, I'd like to say special thanks to the thumbnail artist Mega Crook. And now let's get right into this finale of this what if. Now, we cut back to when all of the class was just kind of uncomfortable about how All Might, who was once so strong, now looked so weak. Days would pass with the UA students just training, doing random things, until I saw what told them that today they were going to get their provisional licenses in the provisional licensing exam so they can use their quirks in public. Now, of course, everything would pretty much just go like can, and everybody would get their license, is except Bakugo and Todoroki, who, of course, would just try to say they'd do it on their own, Bakugo, just being an absolute idiot, yelling at everybody, so he wouldn't get it, basically. Now, after that, we see Zuku would then ask to go... Or he would ask to go would do the internships at his parents' internship place again, as as everyone would just agree for them to do internships. Up until one day, where they received some type of call, where they heard Night Eye saying that they need most of these heroes and internship people to come down to Night Eye's agency as they're going to be planning something big. And also, if you guys don't know, my next what if that's going to be coming out tomorrow is what if Deku was the son of Night Eye, so be prepared for that. And the what if after that is going to be what if Deku was a Joe Star. So yeah, I have two what ifs planned already. Now, they would all arrive there as Night Eye and would start just planning what they would have to do as they would have to fight overhaul in order to save a little girl named eerie now of course everyone would just bust in it just like in canon as they would all just start to run around looking for eerie defeating anybody that ca that they came across now this would end up causing them to run into overhaul which zuku wanting to make this quick would just start to fly up and dodge all of Overhaul's spikes, which Overhaul would just not mind Zuku thinking he was just going to stay flying up there, which he would only target Mirio and Night Eye, to which Zuku would then kick Overhaul right in his back, sending him flying at Mirio, who would then punch him into the ground, which would cause him to get knocked out. From there, they would take him and tie him up, and then take him to Tartarus, while they would save Eerie. And then, just everything went on as normal. The kids would end up stopping Gentle from harming the festival that they were having. And they would just continue to learn. And then they would just continue to grow as heroes. And that would end up causing them to become heroes. Momo, of course, having one for all. Becoming the number one hero. With Izuku becoming the second hero or the number two hero, and then they would end up just getting married, I guess, because that's just being the whole ship, I guess, in this what-if. So they would just end up becoming married. Of course, th that would just happen. And then they'd just have kids or whatever, and then they'd become heroes. That's pretty much it. It's where this what-if would end. And now, just a quick ad break before I finish this what-if off. that's done i can explain my schedule and what's gonna be happening so all of you guys can know what i'm gonna be doing next so from sunday through monday tuesday and maybe even wednesday i'm going to be doing a new series of what if deku was the son of night eye and then after that i'm gonna be doing a new series of what if deku was a joe star so if you want to see that just make sure you're prepared for that i thank you all for watching this series. Special thanks to Mega Crook for being the thumbnail artist. 
And I thank you all for watching once again, and goodbye.